with the new Kat Von D uh, Mi Vida Loda, Loca, Loca palette. Sorry, I just had like a spurt. Anyways, so I had to buy it today. It is absolutely amazing. Like, do you see these colors that are coming out of this? Oh my God. Like, look at the amazing colors that are in here. I just cannot get my hands off of like, you know, gasping out how many colors there are and they're so vibrant right so my look today is inspired by this palette and um if you haven't yet um please subscribe to my channel and keep watching if you want to achieve this look today thank you so i'm going to apply moisturizer on my face you can use any type of moisturizer you like now I'm going to use Max Painterly at, for the base of my eye with the Tarte brush and I'm going to nicely pack it on both of my lids. I like to use Mac Painterly and you can use any of their paint pots but I specifically like Painterly because it goes with any type of skin tone. So now I'm using Tarte's um, Holiday Collection in the color Tartini and I absolutely love this palette so far like it has everything it came with mascara it came with um a blush and a to-go palette as well all right so now i'm taking peach on earth from the same exact palette and i'm gonna pack that all over my lids and i actually like i was saying i actually love this palette because it has every color and their names are so freaking cute so now I'm using Tarte's limited edition um, brush. You can use anything that's fluffy and I'm using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette in the color Analog. And I'm going to pack that all over my lids. And this is also a new palette and this palette is what my inspiration was for having doing this look today. So everything that is coming out of my brain is from this palette. Now I'm going to switch the side of that um, limited edition brush and I'm going to blend it ever so lightly. Ha 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 ha, lightly, not really. After I'm done blending, I'm going to take Harpsichord. I can't even pronounce this, I'm so sorry guys. So I'm using Harpsichord and I'm going to apply that all over. And I'm also gonna use the uh, Max Fix Plus Spray which I'm using right now, and I'm going to spray that on my eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to spread that all over. Now I'm going to use Rewind, and I'm going to put that on the outer edges, and I'm going to blend it, and you want this to look intensified. Don't be scared if it kind of looks like a complete big blob right now, because it's going to look like that right now, but once you use a blending brush, girlfriend you'll be set so now I'm using onyx and I'm going to put that on the upper crease so right where I put that um, rewind I'm going to put it right above that and I'm going to make two strikes on both sides and then guess what guys Samina is gonna blend and I'm taking that blending brush and I'm blending it in blend 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 and right now it looks crazy yeah, I told you, this look will look crazy. But when it mends together in one, it'll be so freaking gorge. So now I'm taking eye makeup remover with the pad and I'm going to strike it in the upward direction. So that kind of gives it a defined shape and it's also cleaning up all the fallouts that we don't want in our look. So now I'm using a small tapered brush and I'm using NYX's Mania and I'm going to apply that only from the inner to the middle of my lid. And that's just gonna give it an oomph and bring out the colors and it's going to mend the look together. And guess what guys, we're going to blend. 
we're going to blend ever so gentle on this one because you don't want the pigment to fly over to um, the rewind color where the rosy kind of color is. All right, so we're blending. We're blending, we're blending, we're mixing, we're mixing. And it's just coming together. The look is like looking fabulous right now. And now I'm going to take Golden Plum by Tarte and apply it on my waterline. And it's like a purpley color, so it kind of matches the purpliness that's going up on my lids. And then once I apply that, I'm going to use the Kat Von D palette once again and I'm going to take any tapered looking brush so this one right here and I'm going to take rewind I'm going to apply it on the lash line just to give it that smoked out kind of look and that kind of brings out your eye a little bit I love this method because it makes the eyeliner stick as well and brings it out all right so now I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Liner. It's the super slim and it glides on so great, guys. Like, I cannot even explain how amazing this is. And the color, like, I really like black, black liners. And this one literally satisfies that request. It is so black that it just, it just makes any eye makeup pop and I feel like liner mascara and lashes are the main ingredients to making your eye look pop and I'm not really doing a wing today because this look does not really call for a wing we already have a lot going on so if I feel like if I was adding a wing I feel like it'd be too much so that's why we're not doing a wing today so you just and it, it doesn't have to be perfect because once the lashes go on, you're not going to really be seeing much of the line anyways. But knowing me, I always try to make it perfect, but you don't have to. So now I'm taking my favorite mascara, which is the Baby Doll by YSL. And I'm just putting a thin layer on because we're going to put lashes. And this makes your lashes look gorgeous. So even if you didn't want to use lashes in this look, you could definitely get away with that. All right, so now I'm using my Ardell lashes, the 120 Demis. And these are gorgeous. Yes, honey, yes. Look at these lashes. Freaking gorgeous. Like, look at how amazing that looks. And I'm going to coat it again with mascara to make it even pop even more. Okay, now I'm taking my Anastasia brow palette with an angular brush and I'm using these two shades, um, soft brown and auburn, and I'm going to fill in my brows where I'm needing some help. And that is in a lot of areas right now. I don't know why, but I just do. And I wanna make my eyebrows look thicker today, so I'm going to be packing on a hell of a lot more than I usually do. And then I'm gonna use the Anastasia brow gel. It's the clear brow gel. Just to set everything together. Now I'm using Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer for my primer all over my face. Just spreading that all over. And then I'm going to use MAC NC35 in the Studio Fix Fluid. And I'm going to use my foundation brush by MAC. Can't remember the name, but it's their foundation brush. And I'm going to spread it all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. I'm going to apply that under my eyes. And then I'm going to also apply it in the middle of my forehead. Because I want to highlight that area and the bridge of my nose. And then also on the side of my chin area because I want to highlight that my jawline area. And then I'm going to take a beauty blender and blend, 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 blend. Keep blending. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Like, can't stop staring at my eyes. Okay, after that's done, I'm going to take my Ben Eye Banana Powder with my big fluffy brush from Morphe. 
and I'm going to spread that all over my face because I want my face to be set before I go into contouring. See, now I'm using my Kat Von D Shade to Light palette in the color Sub Sucaneous Sub Yeah, I can't pronounce. And I'm making the kissy little face and I'm going to contour on my cheekbones and then on my temples as well. And then I'm going to use a Tarte's brush from the holiday collection of last year and I'm going to go back in with the setting powder, the highlighting powder called Lyric under my eyes after I'm done contouring and also on the side of my cheeks. So basically where the contour, just to soften up the edges of my contour because I feel like it was too heavy for me. So just softening it out. And I'm checking it out and it looks on point. Now I'm using Tarte's um, blush in flush. Tarte's blush in flush, that's so funny. And I'm smiling and applying them on my apples of my cheeks and I'm also taking it towards my contour because you don't want to look like your contour is like not matching with your blush because then it's just gonna look like separated looks now for the lips I'm going to line it with whisper from the nude stick collection and I'm just gonna line it ever so nicely and then I'm gonna use NYX is nebula and I'm going to line that all over my lips to give that purple effect. And I'm kind of going for an ombre look today. And I'm using Paladoma's lip gloss in the shade French Kiss. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. And then after that, once that's applied, I'm going for this ombre look. So just in the middle, I'm gonna use Fifth Avenue Fuchsia 160 by Maybelline. And then to set it all off, I'm going to put Max Fix Plus Spray all over. And there you have it for this beautiful look. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this look. And I hope you achieve it just the way I did. Or maybe even better than I did. But um, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and click like. And also, um, leave comments and anything you'd like to say on the bottom. And everything that I use today is going to be listed below. So don't worry if while you're watching the video you're like trying to scramble to remember. You don't have to worry because they're going to be listed below. Alright, thank you and enjoy your, the rest of your day. And I'll see you next week.